I think it's a variety of things, really, because there are there are different strands to the story. But but overall, I think it's it's um, it reflects how we manage the countryside. You know how we have kind of uh, diminished the countryside, the sort of the quality and the amount of resources, uh, nesting places and food for birds in winter and in the summer. But you know both things together. And overall, that means woodland birds are going down, farmland birds are going down, long-distance migrants that go all the way down to Africa and, and come back to breed in the UK and other places in Europe, they're going down. Sea ducks and seabirds are going down. So it, it's quite a depressing story, that the, the staggering number of birds we've lost. And it's a real wake-up call, I think, this report. So in short, we're cutting down the trees, we're polluting the land, and we're taking the fish they need to eat for themselves. Something like that. I mean, we're certainly, you know, we're just not finding the balance of kind of, you know, being able to manage the countryside and produce food that we need in the countryside alongside having, you know, wildlife-friendly farming in place for, for, the, for the birds and the other wildlife that are really uh, dependent on those. And that's the true in, in, in woodlands and it's kind of true in the seas as well. Um, so, you know, uh, there are some issues with, with sustainable fisheries, obviously, that, that people will be familiar with. Um, and there might be other things going on behind the scenes, too, that are quite difficult to, to understand and get, get a feel for in terms of kind of climate change effects across Europe and how that might be affecting bird populations. What sort of uh, household names, shall we say, or, or commoner birds that people would be quite familiar with uh, that are disappearing would you name? Well, birds like the house sparrow, you know, we, our numbers suggest that we're losing 50 house sparrows every hour. Birds like the starling and the swifts are declining kind of to a similar extent. So some birds that are very familiar to you, I think, in your garden and when you go out into the countryside are declining very rapidly. And they're, they're real kind of a bellwether, an indicator of the state of the environment declining. But, um, but strangely, some, some birds have gone up, though, haven't yeah, they? I mean, wood right. pigeons, I gather, have uh, perhaps doubled in population in the last 30 or so years. That's right. Um, they're not alone in some of the birds doing well as well. Um, so, so birds like the wood pigeon have actually benefited from changes, kind of the more modern methods of farming and changes in crops have actually suited them. And they've done really, really well in the environment compared to the overall pattern. And there's other birds close to home in gardens, birds like the great spotted woodpecker and the collared dove and the nuthatch and things. Some of those birds are doing really well as well. They're booking the trend and increasing very strongly. But overall, I mean, uh, some people will obviously uh, surmise that populations of different species, uh, wherever we're talking about on Earth, uh, go up and down, and when one disappears, another expands to fill the niche. But what is the consequence to our environment generally of losing birds? Well, I think that there, are, there are different ways to answer that. I mean, the report suggests that we might be getting to a real tipping point in the status of, of UK nature and wildlife, where we're just losing it to such a degree that, that, that it can only be downwards from now on. And the consequence is, well, as we mentioned before, you know, I think birds are a real indicator of the state of the environment, how we're managing the environment, and, and we re rely, you know, um, upon the environment f for our food and our air and our water and and the environment has a tremendously important role in sustaining the life of humans you know in, in human livelihoods so th that's the the kind of the important message behind this as well you know we rely on these birds and the environment as much as they rely on us so we have to work better in partnership w with the environment in order to get a better balance to allow the these these species to exist because they're, they're important in the, maintaining the infrastructure of the ecosystems now one of the key factors that comes up now and again now increasingly in the last few years is the fact that of course the human population has expanded and with that the number of domestic cats and i suppose dogs to a lesser degree that cats are now in their tens of millions in this country and presumably are killing tens of millions of birds they are, they are they are in fact at a local scale in urban suburban areas cats will be taking quite a toll on on some of the birds that we're talking about but i think in the overall picture 
they seem to be quite a small player in this. You know, the, the fact that farmland birds have declined by half and, and seabirds are crashing in the environment and some waders and so on, it, it, it isn't all about cats in the local area uh, where they're occurring, although, you know, it would be great if people could, could use measures to, to mitigate and reduce the impacts of those cats upon those, those local bird populations. But to a large degree, you know, it's the birds in the wider countryside and, and the seabirds and the sea ducks and things there's the birds that are in real, real trouble here um so that's away from where cats would have an influence